Hey guys, uh, today is day 18 already, which I find kind of amazing that it's been 20 days, um, but good. Um, I've decided to make a small change in my YouTube experience, and I am no longer going to do weekly weigh-ins or whatever. I'm not doing the weekly thing anymore. Um, for one, it just puts a lot of pressure on me on that day, and I can't always say that, you know, every Friday or every blah blah blah, I'm going to have time to do anything, and I just, I'd rather just go daily. Um, another benefit from just doing daily is that instead of, you know, week one, week two, week three, I get like day seven, day 14, day 21, that's like a lot, it just seems like a lot more to me. Mm, and it's better, you know, like, it's not like I can't say, okay, today is, like, day 49, so when I divide that by 7, that's week 7. I can do that in my head, so who cares about the weeks anymore? Um, I'm just going to weigh what I want to weigh, and I'm going to say, you know, okay, uh, just take it by day by day. I don't even care. It, it's just going to be day by day now, day by day. So, um, having said that, I am, this morning I was 203.0, mm, that's my lowest so far in this attempt. I'm still about 4 pounds away from my lowest weight when I stopped last time, um, and that is because I completely failed out last week. I think I only exercised twice, I got my period. I started new medication, which is keeping me up all night, and um, I had an ear infection for a couple of days. Now, those are all excuses, fine, um, but, you know, it's good to think, like, why did last week fail, and, you know, how can this week be different? Well, for one, um, I am doing a seven-day perfect week. And uh, that's Adrienne who um, said she was going to do that on Facebook. And I was like, hell yes, I'm doing this too. Um, yesterday was day one and it was perfect. It was awesome. I ate well. I did a ton of exercise and I got all my water in. And that's another thing I wasn't doing last week. And lo and behold, yesterday morning I was 204.4. Well, today I'm down a pound and a half from that. So, um yeah last week was kind of depressing I was like well you know um, I'm not really seeing big drops of course I wasn't doing you know <laughs> as much as I could have so I didn't deserve to see big drops either and I was just kind of staying around the same so what I did yesterday it was a really slow day at work I went back and looked at all of my well a lot of my videos from the last attempt and I realized that last time I was actually so motivated to do everything that I could. And this time I've just been kind of like, well, I'll work out every day and I'll eat kind of better and I'll try to get my water in. But I wasn't making sure I was doing all of those things. And after a while um, in my last attempt, again, I started to slack on things like water. I started to slack on things like portions. I started to slack like on, an, on a, you know, a workout here or there. And then I stopped seeing big results again. So like that's fine. That's fine to do that. If, if you don't want to go whole hog or I don't want to go whole hog and I need to slow down, that's fine. But I need to realize that that is why I'm not seeing big drops. If I'm going to look at the scale at all, I need to understand it too. I can't just judge my whole experience off of what those numbers are. And I have to realize that sometimes I have no control over anything. So right now it is about the pounds. It's not healthy for it to be about the pounds, but right now it is. And that's just because I'm re-losing weight that I gained back. And it's not that big of amount. It shouldn't be a big deal. It could have been gone already if I had my mindset back, but I guess it took me two weeks to get my mindset back, which is fine. Um, week three is going so well. Uh, I am going to have seven days perfect starting yesterday so by next Monday I'm gonna have done seven days perfectly which means getting as much water as I need which is 96 to 100 ounces which is working out every day that I have a day off which is walking my dogs when it's nice out it's not today so I'm not doing it because it's disgusting out 
and it means staying active during the day and it means like getting back into the habit of eating properly not just like you know having breakfast and then not eating till three o'clock and then eating two meals and then eating all the way till I go to bed um, so you know that's the hard part for me is the eating but if I am 100% on the other two and working on the eating then I think like that is great you know eventually I'm gonna work towards actually controlling the eating part and I have to remember, you know, like right now sucks, you know, right now I can't just eat what I want. and that, That's called dieting. That's called trying to lose weight. Reducing your calories and making healthy choices is essential to losing weight. And it's not like I have to do this forever. It's not like I have to go without forever, but I do have to learn how to have things in moderation and Part of learning that is not having it at all and then starting to have it in moderation. So, I don't know. Anyway, things are going well. Um, I haven't really noticed that much of a difference. I feel better. My clothes fit slightly better, but I, I mean, that's good. But like I said, the last two weeks hasn't really been that great. They haven't been really full on. I know that after this week, you know, around day, um, probably around day 25 to 30, I'm going to actually feel so great because that's when I felt really great last time. And if I make the huge effort again, there's no reason why I shouldn't feel the same thing. And if I don't, then it's just going to be a little while longer, you know, so I'm, I've got the mindset back and I'm really thankful for that. And the only reason I have that back is because I went to the trouble of making all those videos before. So it turned out that they were there for a reason. My last attempt was there for a reason. And all I want to do this time is build on that and go longer this time. Go longer, keep going. So try to keep going and, and really do this. Um, I'm getting really excited about getting down uh, to my goal, 185. Um, there's just so many exciting things that come with that and I've really stopped thinking about what it's going to be like when I'm, you know, 165 or 155 or 145 and almost don't even care anymore. It's like all about 185. I think at 185 my life is going to be dramatically different and it's only 20 pounds. Well now it's only 18 pounds. And I'm about to have the most fabulous week that I've had so far. So I am expecting a huge drop by next Monday. And um, I'm going to get it. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to do everything I can. And it's going to bring me so much closer. And everything is just going to seem so much better. So I'm going to put in the hard work now. And I'm going to get the payoff later. Mark my words. <laughs>